Some of that money is mine, though. I know I gave you at least a thousand dollars towards the house fund. Please give me my money and I'll pay it back later. Are you serious? Jim? I want you to We're back for Black and Curious. I'm Kandrin. What up, what up? It's Stasia. How y'all doing? Hello. And we are back. If you've never been here before, welcome. We do a cross-section of pop culture in real life. And if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And we're here multiple times a week. We do mess on Mondays uh, and a live. And we do mess again on Wednesdays. And then we do something more meaningful on Fridays. What is our topic for today? So, you know, I've been delving into the TikTok streets and Reddit streets for Big story mess. times that mm -hmm. are not ours. So we mm -hmm. are here with the mess. Yes. Hey man. <laughs> not ours. Uh, and this is a very timely mess considering that um, the queen has released tour dates. And so the children are trying to get their coins together so they can attend these uh, locations. And so mm -hmm. we have a short time from that. And then okay. we'll have some chatter. So I'm going to play this into the microphone so you guys can get the gist and we'll move right on. on. Okay. I love you. I love you too. What's going on? Baby, I really want to go to B concert. It's in July and pre-sale for tickets is February 16th. You don't have to get me a V-Day gift or a B-Day gift. I just want to see Beyonce. Please. Come on now. We agreed to not spend money on entertainment until we save enough for our house. We've been saving 10 months. I can't do it, babe. Sorry. I'm begging you. She doesn't do concerts often. This is once in a lifetime thing. This would really make me happy, baby. Please. You told me last year an engagement would really make you happy. I did that. Then you said a house would really make you happy. We made a deal to not waste money on stuff like that. Her tickets start at $600 for nosebleeds without taxes and fees. We can't do it. Once we get this house, we can have fun. Stay focused, baby. So it's a no? When the tickets go on sale, they won't last long. She will be sold out in hours. I'm begging, and you're still saying no? No. Stay on course, babe. We will talk about this later. I love you. Wait. Ooh. Some of that money is mine, though. I know I gave you at least $1,000 towards the house fund. Please give me my money, and I'll pay it back later. Are you serious, Gemma? Tell me you're joking. I'm very serious. When can I pick it up? You're telling me Beyonce is more important than our dream house we've been saving 10 months for. You contributed $710 to the fund. The rest is me. You promised to be responsible. I want my money. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll withdraw today and you can pick it up. The engagement is off. I need a break. What? So you're breaking up with me for asking for my money? Fine. Mm -hmm. Text me when I can pick it up. Bye. I'm sorry, but Beyonce got some of y'all in a chokehold. Ain't no way I'm about to jeopardize my engagement to go see a woman who's going back home to her husband. Now, how much sense does that make? But unfortunately, some of y'all priorities be backwards as hell. If you having a scrounge up money to go to Beyonce's concert, honey, you don't need to be going. But on the brighter side, this situation has brought out this woman's true colors before they decide to actually marry. Hopefully, this is a permanent break instead of temporary because... Ain't no way I'm going to be sitting here trying to force somebody to be responsible that's supposed to be my significant other. If it ain't going to work, it ain't going to work. Lead them where they at and going on about your business. Peace. Okay, so that was brought to you by Jack My Vibes on TikTok. <laughs> and it was a uh, text conversation between a couple, obviously. Um, I saw this on the Shade Room first, and then it was a couple of rounds of it on TikTok. And so I thought we could weigh in on this. I agree with sis. Like, that's why I'm not going to jeopardize my whole relationship over that. I would have just, if I really wanted to go, I would have figured it out another way. I have a few thoughts. I have a few thoughts that are honestly may be a little contradictory. Can't hear you. Okay. I don't know what happened. I realized my microphone was not plugged in. That's why it was louder. Oh. You can hear me now? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> um you'll cut this out yes mm -hmm. <laughs> okay all right so I have a couple trains of thoughts potentially contradictory honestly at first I was very much with her and here's the reason why I don't believe in 
sacrifice to the exclusion of all things. I am very much not a, um, I just don't believe in that. Like, I don't, I don't believe that you shouldn't be able to do the things you enjoy because you're saving for something. Now I understand for like a strict amount of time or whatever, like I get it. Like you guys are working towards the goal, but it seemed like they had already been saving for 10 months. And this is not happening all the time. Beyonce barely tours. Like these days she barely tours there was a time when she would tour every year and at that point I would be like girl you'd be all right but yeah, this girl this, ain't doing that no more no and this particular album was a particular mood and I want to go to the tickets are not six hundred dollars by I the way they're not six hundred. there's like two like you can get a nosebleed for like two something and then like 150 ish and then it goes up from there so it's as not two who has never not seen as someone who's never seen her in concert like I definitely want to go I get like her reasoning considering like you said she didn't tour often so anyway carry on no but at the end of the day like once it gets ugly to the idea of like give me my money <laughs> that's a relationship issue like and there's no coming back from that I I feel like mm -hmm. in my opinion I would have just put damn tickets on a credit card I don't know if they're married or not but I would have just put tickets on a credit card and paid it off in a couple months and saying. called it a day like I don't I wouldn't have gone this route at all not give me my money but it I mean it also makes me wonder like okay well if you if you trying to do it that way do you not have the credit card to do that is that what the issue I mean is? it's possible that they you know? are you know I mean if they're married it's possible that they share expenses they share bank accounts um it didn't seem like they were married because he mm -mm. said engagement and then yeah, I don't think they wanted are. a house next so I don't think they're married but my thing, this could be a separate issue. My thing is this. I'm never sharing all of my money with somebody to a point that I can't go do a little a little wang dang doodle, as XD says, from time to time. Hello, shout out to Jane. I am not. <laughs> shout out to Jane and XD. I am not ever giving you all of my money for any reason whatsoever. And also, okay. it sounds like she does not have access to said money. Maybe she's the one that's not good with money. So he's like, take, he's like keeping it for them. Mm -hmm. But I'm never giving you all of my money with no access to it. God bless. That's that should have been a joint account. And if it was going to be all that, it should have been a joint account. She'd be like, bruh, I'm going to this concert and I'm taking my money out of this joint account. So I'll put it back in two months or two weeks or however long it takes. I'll put it back. But I am going. The reason, the fact that she had to drive to his house and get anything to me is like, nah, that's wild. I would never, I would never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never. I agree with you that I'm not never going to be in a position where I'm all my money is in one uh, basket. I have always believed that you have like communal funds and then you yeah. each have your separate accounts so you can do whatever the freak you want. Okay. Because I'm not ever okay. asking you to go see Beyonce. I'm not asking anybody to go see Beyonce. When the tickets come out, I'm going. <laughs> like and that's that on that <laughs> or um, anybody else that I want to go see or anything else I want to go do like I'm never but I'm very much like you said uh yours mine and ours and if if it comes down to it like I'm not going to ask you wh why you buying your whatever either mm -hmm. so but they are saving toward a goal so I get it and the way she handled it of like I'm going regardless I think that's a <laughs> I mean she got to, to the end and was like I'm going regardless but like you know I don't know it's just that was, y'all, to the point of what you already said, they have some real relationship issues that they're going to have to work yeah. out before they walk down that aisle, if they even make it to that aisle. Because like I don't know uh, Jack make of My it. Vibe said, or My Vibe, whatever her name was, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll but like it. she said, like, hopefully they don't make it because that is a functional issue. Like, I don't know, money will break you up. So it's sounding like that's where we at, end of the road. I don't, I don't know if they should stay broken up I definitely think they need to have some, if they haven't already, some premarital counseling about around money and how they're spending their money and doing whatever with their money. Um, yeah. And does saving for, for him mean at the exclusion of everything else? And does saving for her mean at the exclusion of everything else? Unless something once in a five years comes up and then I get to go. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's two different uh, philosophies. Like, maybe she's been fine. Counseling needed. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, like maybe she's been fine to eat ramen and not go out and not buy her shoes or her clothes or whatever. But the B tickets dropped and she was like, "I'm going." And I'm I can't. Going, bitch. And what you what you finna do about it? <laughs> can't say I blame her. Oh, y'all get down in the comments. And let us know. <laughs> Are you breaking up over a Beyonce concert or a Beyonce ticket? <laughs> it's not funny. I feel bad for them, but. Me. could that be you what would you do in this situation mm. thank you for listening of course make sure you're following us on all of our social media and check out blackandcurious.com we'll see you in the next conversation bye friends bye <laughs>